As you can see from this title, this is a controversial take. How can this beloved franchise of Indiana Jones that has been highly praised since 1995 be outrighted by that goofy animated dinosaur movie that flopped? Dinosaur has always been rumored to be preceded by Indiana Jones eventually in Disney World because the track is fairly identical and Indiana Jones has a much bigger fan base. Now I have to admit, I used to stand for this and was willing to say goodbye to Dinosaur once and for all. but. After the last few months riding it as a much older Disney fan, I felt a sense of melancholy. But also I had a much more mature experience with it and understood how the elements and theming really outweigh all the intangibles. I came to a conclusion. Dinosaur must stay. Indiana Jones can stay in California. And just like how the Thunder Mountain will always stay in the magic, the same goes for Dinosaur and Animal Kingdom. Am I saying this is Animal Kingdom's magnum opus? No, that's clearly Everest and forever will be, but this is the shadow of Everest. This is the ride that solidified itself as being iconic. So why do I think the ride is better than Indiana Jones, the Temple of the Forbidden Eye? Well, there are a few factors. There are two under the surface factors in Dinosaur that I think contribute to a more exciting ride. First is the time limit imposed by a meteor shower. They're not gonna make it. It gives the riders a feeling of stakes. It gets louder, more dangerous dinosaurs start to appear. The turns seem more jagged, the showers get more clearer for an overwhelming, well-executed climax. Whereas Indiana Jones, you kind of just go around this room for like three minutes, but more on that in a second. In Dinosaur, if you told me our time rover had moved several miles through the jungle from beginning to end, I might just believe you. The ride just feels faster and along with the time limit creates a real sense of urgency and sense of immersion that I believe is unmatched with Indiana Jones. The second, and I think most important difference though, is the certain level of darkness. Indiana Jones has too much light throughout. There, I said it. At certain points, it seems as if you could see the entire track layout within one big room, and it starts to feel like if you're in an old fantasy land dark ride just zigzagging around with little to show for it. Dinosaur is pretty freaking dark. You can't see nearly all the ride, it's just vague and it gives it that OG Disney magic just like Space and Splash Mountain and the Hunted Mansion as well. Indiana Jones would have been better if they had just made it more darker considering you're in a cave. Like why is there so much light? Also the use of practical effects are horrendous in this ride, don't get me started. The Pepper Ghost effect was a transcendent technique that was used with Hunted and then Winnie and a few other Disney rides. In these examples, it's perfect. For this this one, <laughs> what is that? It looks like something you see in fairs. Also, the ride ends with a corny joke by Indy. I know it's not really a big deal, but I felt obligated to put it in because I didn't like it. Funny. At the end of the day, do I think Indiana Jones should replace Dinosaur in Disney World? No and yes. Not that exact ride, but I am down to have a better reamped Indiana Jones ride. Like I said, that ride has been built for a long time in Disneyland. Taking that old ride after decades, just duplicating it and bringing it to Animal Kingdom makes no sense to me whatsoever. They did Rise of the Resistance well, so I'm assuming they're gonna use some of the same techniques with that if they do it. And that could be Indiana Jones then, which would be really cool. But at the end of the day, if someone prefers Indiana Jones over Dinosaur, that's fine. But if someone says that it's better than Dinosaur, show them this video, tell them to subscribe and say sayonara and run away. Thanks for watching. Peace out.